here's Mares and Miles. Miles is visiting today and um, it's this day in Disney for September 7th and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And today is oh. <laughs> Monday, September 7th, so it's Labor Day. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So to start off, we're going to 1911, to oh. the birth of someone, a Disney legend, Robert Fred Moore. He was born Robert Fred Moore, but he was um, in Los Angeles, California, and he was often called Freddy. So despite his limited talent, he rose to prominence at Disney very quickly in his early in the early 30s due to his great natural talent and his uh, tremendous appeal in of his drawings um, and he's actually still greatly admired by animators today so he didn't have formal training like the other he didn't go to um, an art school or anything like that he mm. just had natural talent um, so, he was best known for being the resident specialist in the animation of Mickey Mouse. Mm. Okay? So, um, he redesigned the character of Mickey Mouse in 1938 for the landmark role as the Sorcerer's Apprentice. You know that? Yeah. Yeah, so, that look is Freddie Moore. That's, he created that look for Mickey. Wow. What do you think about that? That's crazy. You yeah. Know, I, I never knew who made that look. I was I just assumed Walt Disney just refreshed it one day. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. You know. But I guess uh Freddie, Freddie Moore. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I'm sure you'll learn more about him as you discover um, Disney animators, and you know some of them, like Frank and Ollie. Yeah, and... everybody knows Frank and yeah. Ollie. <laughs> yeah, so Freddie was really important to the studios, though. Um, so, he, that look that he did for the Sorcerer's Apprentice, that Mickey, remains the look for Mickey even today. Yeah. Yeah, so he did a good job. <laughs> we all like that. Well, Mickey. apart from like the newer cartoons. The newer cartoons, yeah. Right. They mm -hmm. use more of a classic design, but still tweaked a little bit. Right, it's like a classic modern thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Um, yeah, you like it, right? Yeah. Yeah. An early design is seen of Mickey um, by Moore in The Brave Little Tailor. That was also 1938. Yeah. So some of the significant works he worked on, um, like you said, he was really talented. So. Um, like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Freddie's significant uh, works are The Three Little Pigs, um, animation, he was the supervisor of the um, dwarves for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, so all the dwarves are, he was super responsible for their look and, and everything. Ah. Lampwick in Pinocchio, oh. yeah, yeah, you remember his character, yeah. yeah, he was one of the kids on Pleasure um, Island, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and then I think he turns into don a donkey first, right? Yeah, he turns into a donkey. Yeah, and he smokes too, right? Yeah, don't, yeah. don't smoke. No. It's bad. <laughs> no, um, so the rabbit, the white rabbit in Alice in Wonderland, oh. and the mermaids in the Mermaid Lagoon in, oh. Peter, Pan, in Peter Pan. Wow. So, he, Fred Moore was actually briefly fired in 1946. Why? Um, well, he had trouble with alcohol. He was an alcoholic, or alcoholism. He struggled with that. Mm -hmm. And um, so he worked for Walter Lance, and he actually went and redesigned Woody Woodpecker during huh. this time period. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so he did go back to the Disney company, though, when things were better. Huh. Um, unfortunately, he passed away way too soon. His wife and him were in a car accident, Aww. and um, so it, he ended up having like a brain hemorrhage, and so he passed away the day after the car accident. So it was really, really sad. Yeah. Um, so, but he was inducted as a Disney legend in 1995. Um, he did receive a Winsor McKay, that's an animation, a big animation award in 1983. Mm. Um, so listen to this quote. I really like this. Here you had the nine old men, Milt, Frank, Ollie, Mark, and the other, most of whom studied extensively at Chenard. Then you had Freddie Moore, a kid who played baseball, who one day walked in off the street and into the studio, sat down and started drawing, and mm -hmm. stunned everyone at how good he was. Don mm -hmm. Bluth. Yeah. yeah. 
That'd be cool to yeah. have someone say that about you. Just he had a really natural talent, and that's what I loved about Walt Disney. He just he hired people who get the job done. You know, he didn't really care mm -hmm. about what you were, female, male, background, race, religion, none of it. He worked with every, like all of it that was of you know of the people at the time. He just. If you could do good and you were talented, he wanted to work with you. So I love that about Walt Disney. Wow. So Freddie Moore was really cool. So next up on this day, September 7th, 1998. It was also a Labor Day on this day. And wow. um, <laughs> Disneyland's submarine voyage closed at 7 a.m. with a 7 a.m. ceremony officiated by U.S. Navy Commander Robert Thomas. Mm -hmm. So they closed the submarine voyage. Oh, that's sad. I did write this when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, I, I remember writing. I was really little though. Isn't there a place with like a Finding Nemo right now? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, it totally is. That's what they ended up replacing it with. They actually closed it um, in 1998. They were supposed to do something by 2003. There were plans, but they didn't tell anyone what the plans were. They didn't actually um, change over the ride till 2007. So 98 to 2007 is a long time. So it was just a uh, lagoon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, a, really like a water feature there at yeah. Disneyland until they just finding Nemo. People will just walk past it. Oh, there's the lagoon. Yeah, I wish I could ride a submarine in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, let's see. So this ride started in June 1959. Um, the Nautilus, the the main one was the Nautilus, and then the seven sister submarines were the Triton, the Sea Wolf, the Skate, Skipjack, George Washington, Patrick Henry, and Ethan Allen. Um, That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, those were seven of the ships, and they had other names later in the future, but there only 38 people could be on the submarine at a time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so you would take a voyage to the North Pole. Oh, wow. Yes. And um, then over at the Magic Kingdom in Florida, there was a 20,000 leagues under the sea ride. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that's gone, obviously. Yeah. Or it's hiding somewhere and you've never seen it. Because yeah. <laughs> I've actually, never rode it. <laughs> I think it's cemented over. Oh. That's really gone. <laughs> um, the, so we kind of went over already that the attraction was when it was supposed to reopen. But yeah, it's a Finding Nemo, Nemo ride. Yeah. Maybe yeah. one day we'll get to ride it. Yeah. <laughs> so the submarine voyage was to ha it was gonna have real fish and creatures and stuff, but that was just too. It wasn't feasible at the time to do that. So a major portion of the ride is simulated. Um, the voyage it goes under the Arctic Ocean's or it's a portion of the ride is a simulation of the Arctic voyage that went under the. Polar ice cap, this real voyage undertaken by the nuclear USS Nautilus submarine, August 3rd, 1958. Wow. Yeah, so that was pretty neat. <laughs> Educational, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so in the ride, you would dive below the surface and view all the sea life, like um, first, like seaweed and coral reefs, and then creatures, sea turtle, sea tur serpent, or Ocean sunfish, barracuda, battling lobsters, and battling crabs, and grouper, <laughs> giant clam, and a moray eel. And then um, the submarine would pass through like um, the wreckage of other ships from oh. different time periods. So, oh. like ships from history, like Greek and Roman and Viking ships. Oh. And then a shark was guarding treasure. Oh. So that was kind of cool. But then you'd em encounter the polar ice cap part and the ship would go deeper and um, you would go to avoid the ice. And then you'd dive even deeper where sunlight had never touched and wow. see sing tr strange creatures um, that can, they, you know, could change their color. You've seen those kind of fish before. Oh yeah. They look like fluorescent. Yeah. Yeah, so you would see that. And um, then there was a giant squid. Ah. Oh. So he's trying to get you. Um, you're yeah. so deep, um, you end up viewing the lost city of Atlantis. And then the sea serpent appears, but he's kind of comical. 
Yeah. And the captain of the submarine um, says, I've been underwater too long. We have to go to the surface because I'm seeing things. Yeah. <laughs> so that's when you head back to the surface and you're able to leave a ship when they say, all ashore. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really cool. I think it was a cool ride. I, I'm sad it's gone, but now you have the Finding Nemo ride. Yeah. So that's kind of cool too. And we'll see, maybe they'll do something in the future. There was talk, um, obviously in this long shutdown period that there might be a Atlantis lost city, like um, that they might turn it into that ride, but they mm -hmm. didn't, or theme it to that movie. Well, maybe not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we like that movie, right? But it's not a, that popular with everybody. Yeah. Else. Yeah. But anyway, thanks for coming along today. Did you learn a lot? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. awesome. Well, I hope you can join me again sometime. Yeah. And I hope to see you guys again sometime. That's it for this day in Disney. And we'll see you next time.